What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome to your first time here. Well, guys, old Joe is at it again. He has his executive pen, and he is signing his name, and he is making executive orders against the Second Amendment. Let's take a look. I'm here with you today to act. In Monterey Park, President Biden signs an executive order that clarifies existing federal laws that require background checks by anyone in the business of selling firearms. My I thought I already had background checks when anyone sold a firearm. If you want the federal firearms license selling a firearm, it has to do background checks. They do a local, they do a state, they do a federal background check. What he's talking about here is he wants background checks done at flea markets. He wants background checks done. Like, say, for example, your father decides to give you a gun that's been handed down to the family. He wants a background check. He wants paperwork, what that boils down to, in my opinion, from what I've, from what I've read and what I've observed about this universal background check thing that they want, they've been pushing for so long. They want background checks done for every single firearms purchase. New, used, flea markets, passing between brothers, passing between, you know, father to son or whatever, grandfather to son or to a grandson or whatever. They want to know where all the guns are. They want the paperwork done. My executive order directs my attorney general to take every lawful action possible to move us as close as we can you see right here, these are not even real handguns. These are air pistols. I mean, you can see right here, if you stop it and take a look at it, you can see they are air pistols. None of these right here I can see are real. So they can't even have real guns in their broadcast. It is absolutely ridiculous. The universal background checks without new legislation. I just, it's just common sense. It's just common sense. And look at his... Big, heavy, gas-guzzling, um, armored limousine because he's important. Looks like some kind of mafia, mafia leader, and it pretty much is what it boils down to the Biden crime family. It's the president's first visit to Monterey Park since a gunman ended 11 lives in a dance studio two months ago. They always blame the gun. It's never the individual, it's always the gun president reflecting on losing his own loved ones it takes time right there is the smuggest looking bastard i've ever seen in my life and he always has that smug look on his face all the time and he always has michael back here with her or whatever smug look on that face look at that pooch lip so mad so stuck up look at obama he knows Biden's getting sworn in here, swearing in the, on the Bible. He's going to obey. The, he's going to uphold the Constitution, knowing full well he is it. Or maybe he don't even know where he's at. But you can see Obama right here looking. He knows my next term, my third term. I tell everyone, at least it did with me. It takes time. It takes time. But I promise you. I promise you. Got to give emphasis. I promise you. I promise, you, I promise you, the day will come when the memory of your loved one brings a smile to your lips before it brings a tear to your eye. If Brandon Say hadn't stopped the gunman in Alhambra, he let... Not sure what kind of gun he has there exactly. I cannot tell with this video what that is he has. Kind of looks like maybe an Uzi. Maybe that's the grip right there, and that's the magazine. It's difficult to tell. I don't know about that. Likely would have kept killing. <laughs> Say, honored during the speech, he also met the president at LAX and was his guest recently during the State of the... The thing about it is they always, like I said a minute ago, blame the firearm. They never put the blame on the shooter. They want to put the blame on the firearm and call it, and call it gun violence. Because they want to ban the firearm. It's an excuse to ban firearms. And if you take and you could, you know, in their perfect world, you can completely ban civilian ownership of firearms. All of the millions upon millions of firearms in civilian hands would be completely gone. If you could actually do that, if they're signing a law, their executive orders, or whatever, could actually do that, people would still murder other people they always have if people wants to kill someone else they want to do a mass murder they will they will find a way and you know if they couldn't get a hold of a firearm 
they would make something they could go in and carry it in, say in a suitcase or a backpack that would set that down. He'd be on a timer, they'd walk away, and they would be five, ten miles away when that timer hit the time that was set, kaboom. And they would have much more chance of actually getting away and probably do a lot more damage than they would by doing it that way than they would have used a firearm. If you have a crowd of people and if someone can get a, a firearm to shoot into that crowd of people, some of them take psycho, which is what it would take. They would get an automobile and run through that crowd. They've done it before. So banning, trying to ban guns and things doesn't work, even if you could actually ban firearms. But they can't. There's millions upon millions of firearms already in civilian hands, and Joe Biden's executive order isn't going to do anything. And the main push for this is they want to have those background checks because they want to get all the paperwork on all the guns that are in civilian hands eventually or at least a large portion of those it's all about registration is what it boils down to if you know say i want to give one of my firearms away to someone else they want you to do the background checks that way to have the paperwork the paper trail to that firearm it's all about control union address brandon saved lives brandon i thought, I thought he was brandon he protected the community. People here at the Boys and Girls Club say it's especially meaningful to have the president come here. It's so, meaningful. you know, it's very moving. If I seen that president coming anywhere I was, I would be leaving going the other way. Getting as far as I could away from him. I'd be afraid that the stupid might be catching or something. It shows that he really cares. He's really monumental cares. that he's come here because we have a hole that is so monumental. deep in our hearts. She has a hole that's deep in her heart. <laughs> Congresswoman Judy Chu is a former Monterey Park mayor. She says Congress needs to do more. Congress needs to do more. It means they need to completely ban firearms. So her point is. We also need to enhance the outreach for red flag laws because red this. Red flag laws. At least her and former President Donald Trump have something in common. They both support red flag laws. You know, take the firearms and due process comes second. No crime. You haven't done anything whatsoever. Come in, take your firearms. Come into your home. Take them out of your home. You haven't done anything. Just because they think you might do something. Because someone says, this guy might be dangerous. So let's take and have the SWAT team come in and SWAT his home and take all his firearms. Even though he hasn't done anything at all. Take your complete, take your rights away. Take due process away. Shooter was uh, one who was mentally deteriorating. And somebody could have seen it and gone to the court to take his guns away. Blah, 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 President Biden spent that. private time work. meeting with... Like I said, if he wanted to kill people, he would kill people. That's the way it works. If there's a psycho killer and he can get a hold of anything, they will find a way to kill other people. If it's a, a axe, if it's a sword, if it's a knife, if it's a, a IED, if it's an automobile, whatever. If people's determined, they will find a way. And signing executive orders, pretending that you're doing something is it doing anything because they are millions upon millions, hundreds of millions of firearms already in civilian hands that's not going to change so they can sign all the laws they want to change and it's not going to have any effect whatsoever on crime, on people, mass shootings or whatever. It's not going to have any effect whatsoever at all. The victim's families. His next stop tonight, Las Vegas, to fundraise and to talk health care reform. Health care reform. He's on the ball, Joe is. Anyways, got no second in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs up. I also really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Let's get this off of here before that stupidity right there is spreads to others watching this video or spreads to me making this video. Anyway.